A U.N. broker deal to restart grain exports out of Ukraine appears to be in jeopardy. Just a day after the landmark agreement signed by Russia and Ukraine, Kyiv's officials say Russian missiles have struck the key port of Odessa. It was hoped that the agreement to open a Russian blockade would alleviate a global food crisis. But the reported attack cements Ukraine's warnings that Russia wouldn't keep its promises. A landmark deal against the backdrop of mutual mistrust. Representatives from Russia and Ukraine signed an agreement in Istanbul, refusing to sit down together at the same table and carefully avoiding shaking hands. The UN Secretary General said the deal offered a beacon of hope. This is an agreement for the world. It will bring relief for developing countries on the edge of bankruptcy and the most vulnerable people on the edge of famine. And it will help stabilize global food prices, which were already at record levels even before the war, a true nightmare for developing countries. Ukraine and Russia are two of the world's biggest grain producers. The deal will release more than 20 million tons of wheat and other grain that remain trapped in blockaded Ukrainian ports due to the war. It was brokered by the UN and Turkey, a diplomatic triumph for President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. With the text agreed on, we will work together to prevent the danger of hunger that awaits billions of people all over the world, from Africa to the Middle East and from America to Asia. The NATO member controls the straits leading to the Black Sea. Turkish and UN officials will police the shipments that much of the world is desperately waiting for. But trust is a key factor underlying the deal. And there is a high level of skepticism on all sides. I want to get the latest from our correspondent, Dorian Jones, who joins me now from Istanbul. Uh, Dorian, what does this apparent attack on Odessa mean for the deal? Well, it certainly casts a huge shadow over the whole process, given the concerns about Russia's commitment to honoring all these terms of this agreement. Under the agreement, it stated that Russia would hold off any attacks on, uh, on the Ukrainian ports that are going to export grain to the world markets. Although it has to be said in the deal, and UN officials speaking ahead of the deal said that the only areas of the ports that will be uh, protected by this non-attack uh, agreement is the areas directly uh, involved in the shipping of grain. As the, uh, the Odessa port in particular is a very large port covering a huge amount of area. Now, it's unclear where this attack struck in the Odessa port, uh, but there will be a great deal of concern given the fact that the Russian uh, accuracy uh, uh, in this Ukrainian conflict has been notoriously bad and quite Questions will be raised why Russia would consider launching any attack on any part of the Odessa support at such an early stage in the process. So there will be a great deal of questions being asked. And I think a lot of back deal communications will be going on between uh, uh, Turkey in particular, which is one of the main uh, uh, parts of one of the main participants in this process and Moscow. So just to clarify, does that then mean that skeptics think they were right about not trusting Russia to uphold its end of the deal? Well, yes. I mean, Kiev in particular has been voicing concern about Russia's poor track record on honouring any deals and also the fact that there has been a trail from Kiev's point of view of lies and deception since the start of this Ukrainian conflict. Now, even the United States, uh, while welcoming the deal, has been voicing concern and saying the key part will be the implementation. Now, now, under this agreement, there will be a joint coordination centre set up here in Istanbul that will be staffed by the UN, Turkey, Ukraine and Russia. But that's still in the process of being set up. Now, this centre would be seen as possibly handling any of these uh, possible breaking of the treaty. Uh, but this is such an early part of the process. And I think the hopes will be on all sides that uh, this was a possible rogue attack or something that uh, was mistaken. Because uh, if it continues, uh, then I think that this treaty and this agreement could be dead before it stops. Okay, thanks so much for that update. Our correspondent Dorian Jones in Istanbul. And of course, let's get the reaction from Ukraine as well. Our correspondent Nick Connolly now joins me from Kyiv. Um, Nick, Ukraine saying Russian missiles have hit Odessa. Does that seem to mean that this deal is going to be off the table? 
Well, definitely it plays into the scepticism, the sceptical uh, remarks we've heard from lots of players here in Ukraine as to their trust in Russia's desire to really uh, pull through with this deal. Basically, this deal was about creating peace on the water, on the Black Sea, while war on land continued. But in a situation like this, who, as a, you know, a private owner of a grain uh, ship, grain a vessel, who is going to send that uh, ship to Odessa, given those risks, given, as Dorian mentioned there, Russia's track record in terms of not being able to hit targets precisely? Um, I think it's a very dangerous, very difficult situation. And I can't see right now any ships really being willing to take those risks and to you know, go into Odessa, even if it is for the greater good of getting Ukraine's food out to the world's markets. Right. These are private corporations doing the exporting. Um, have we heard anything from Ukrainian authorities in response yet? So far, we've just had a bit of information from the regional authorities. They're keeping a very tight control on media coverage of this, as they have been in recent weeks. The pictures we see are pixelated. We just see the kind of dust clouds. We don't see exactly where it is. There was talk of six explosions. Some of those, we understand, were Ukraine's air defences intercepting missiles, but some are reported to have actually hit in the port. Um, Odessa is a city that, you know, hasn't seen warfare on land but has been bombarded time and time again. Uh, it is clearly a Russian target. Um, there's been a lot of talk in Russian, Russian social media, Russian media more broadly about Odessa being a city they definitely want to take in the longer term. And we heard from Sergei Lavrov, Russia's foreign minister in recent days, that they are definitely not going to stay, keep their war targets to basically be satisfied with Donbass. They want more of Ukraine. They're pretty open about this. They've stopped talking about trying to denazify Ukraine or stopping NATO. They're basically brazenly talking about uh, taking more of Ukraine's territory. So I think the idea that it was somehow possible with help from Erdogan, with help from the EU, and to sort of decouple these two issues, the war on land and the situ situation on the sea, I think that's proving to be extraordinarily difficult and um, maybe a little early, a little premature in terms of expecting that to work out. Our correspondent Nick Connolly in Kyiv, thanks so much for monitoring those updates for us.